Well, it's almost daylight. Today is a honey hole tournament. I'll explain that a little bit more, but it's the last tournament of the kayak, of the season of this kayak tournament group that I'm in. And um, I got to pick the place I wanted to go to today because it's called a honey hole tournament. So you get to pick where you want to go. Um, it's about to get light. The lines are in in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna kind of unload here. And I'm kind of probably let it get a little bit lighter. And then uh, we'll pick this up on the water. There's a fish. There we go. Stay on there. Stay on there. Yes, sir. Woo. Okay, this is uh, actually went right as planned. It was just pretty nice when something like that actually works out. Started up with the flat A. Ooh, there's a spider on me. Working this uh, around this bridge. Oh, oh! I just saw something bust. It had been, it's been, it was dead when it was dark. Nothing was happening. Uh, nothing much has been happening. All of a sudden, I'm starting to see some life. Oh yeah, there's. Oh, I'm starting to see stuff hit top water over there. Okay, okay. They may be really getting going here. This is a solid starter. Let me get a hooks out and get a measurement on it. Okay, I finally got him measured. 14 and a half. That's a good start. I think today, let me tell you about what's going on today. So today is the Honey Hole Tournament. You can pick anywhere you want to be within 100 miles of the check-in, which is in Kingston. So I just, I chose Charleston, which is only, you know, this place is less than 30 minutes from my house, which was great. It means I didn't have to get up as early. That just means whenever I get done, I got to drive a little further for the check-in. But everybody can pick their best fishing hole. So the, any, any, Probably that's got a spot picked out that they they've been catching fish i'm probably going to complain a little bit about the weather it's um it's been so hot and humid but um as i, I when i got up this morning quick quick note i was just i i got on my phone real quick and was just reading a little bit about afghanistan and uh the soldiers that died here recently you know and i it just you know it's a quick reminder of how blessed we are here in america I, I could drive over here, you know, to this fishing hole. I didn't have to worry about, you know, any terrorists or anybody restricting me from doing that. And, you know, we got so much freedom in it. You know, all the people that complain about America and which it has a lot of flaws, but we are so blessed to the Lord to, you know, to have this country. Um, thousands of people in Afghanistan, thousands and thousands are trying to get over here and trying to leave Afghanistan. And there's a reason that they're sacrificing their life um, or a lot of them have some people have died trying to get here and because they know they know what's going to happen so uh, i hate to i hate to i don't like bringing up really anything that's going on in the world in my channel i like to just kind of leave them leave it all out there and just do fishing but i, I figured i had to mention that i'm just just want to thank the lord for uh where i'm at and um you know what he's blessed us with and um hopefully i'll do good on this tournament if not i'm gonna have a great day i just get to get out of here and fish but um, stay tuned though, it's probably gonna be a pretty good day of fishing. And like I said, this is the last meetup. The results of this tournament are gonna have some big consequences throughout the whole year. And um, it's something I've been, like I said, I've been getting into. So stay tuned, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens here at the end. Yep, yep. Oh, that feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. Oh, it's not. Well, I mean, it's a keeper. I thought it was bigger than that at first. It's the same spot. I'm going to keep working this area. So I'll stop getting bites here, I guess. Number two right there. 14 inches. That was just a couple minutes after that last one.
There we go. <laughs> I'm just working the same hole. Dude, they must be loaded up right there. They're all about the same size though, so far. Which, that's keeper size. Well, we're getting a little smaller, but that's number three already. 13 and a quarter, so I got three. I've only put one on the board right now. Let me go ahead and upload that one. Let, upload those other two just to get them on there. And then we'll start trying to upgrade. There's one. Loaded up over here. He's uh, I think it was 13, 13 and a quarter, same as that one I have. Maybe the one smallest one I have is thirteen, but anyways, we're definitely gonna have to get bigger ones than this. I'm ninety nine percent sure to uh, place. There's only twenty one anglers, and it's gonna, it's twenty one pretty good anglers. Like these guys are, uh, they're all really good. So uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get some, I'm probably gonna have to get a 20 and, or maybe like, you know, some 18s and 19s or something. I'm probably gonna have to get some pretty good fish today to be able to, I need to get in the top three probably to be able to like either get money or, at least that's what I, I'd like to get in the top five at least. That'd be pretty cool. And um, so I'm definitely gonna have to find some bigger fish I think, but these fish are still biting here and, and there could be a big one mixed in. So I'm just gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna keep fishing. So I'll start getting bites here. Worth leaving that spot. Got a solid bass on the spinnerbait. Not sure if it's gonna help us, but uh, there is some fish over here. But that's that would be a keeper. Let's see if he's gonna help us out or not. Nope, another 13 and a quarter. I think it's the third one I've caught that size. Fish. fish. Oh, nice. Oh, oh it's been a minute since I caught a fish. Of course, I started off really hot. I'm right underneath the interstate right now. Huh. All right, 14 and a quarter. This guy was not cooperative, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload him. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, white bass. That's probably what I had hit just a second ago. Had something hit really hard. This one followed it all the way up. Yeah, hit it right at the kayak. I started to come up the creek. I went back to the bridge and didn't get anything. It's getting hot, but um, the other day when I caught them out, it was in the middle of the day, so the fish, they don't seem to be as active hitting the top water like they were the other day, so I, I don't know. 
Maybe the Shad left. Or maybe they're just chilling right now. But I'm gonna work my way up the creek a little bit. cast of the spinner bait up here and there's the next keeper I needed come on thing on thing on thing on oh yes yes that's this is what I need I need a little upgrade come across a few of them went back to the spinner bait got a good one these guys are fired up it's pretty long I think that's gonna be my biggest one today so we've upgraded a few inches. That's the kind of fish I'm hoping for. Hopefully we get a few more of these, but that's 15 and three quarters. I'm happy with that. Now I may catch a couple bigger than that. That's all I need, you know? That was a good fish. All right, just submitted that fish. I'm not really sure what my standings are. Um, if I don't catch anything within probably another 30 minutes, I might move to another location. I was really getting close to doing that and then I just cut that fish so we'll give it I'll give it a little bit more time and then I might move I'll just suck that you get to hit it kind of weird on the spinner bait coming up through here they have moved upstream of course a lot of things have changed since last time I fished here it was a few days ago and it rained since then and 13 and three quarters let me check and see if he's gonna be an upgrade nope I need a, something bigger than 14.25 that's my smallest one and my biggest one's 15.75 so right now I'm fourth out of 21 I got a uh, I got that's just real everything's real close so need to get something bigger than 14.25 oh I got I wasn't even trying to get it I was just trying to get the attention where'd he go I think I'm gonna keep going upstream I'm gonna take the camera down I just saw some splash over there I had two catches right here so I gotta continue to go up there I seem like I always have something like this happen every time I make a fishing video whenever the camera is off I catch my biggest fish I took the camera down because I was working my way upstream and there's a lot of low structure so um, I was just that was like three minutes ago when I took it down dude I got a good fish here spinnerbait is coming through for me today up in this murky water Yes, sir. That's the kind of creek bass I've come to expect. Beautiful fish right there. Really thick and strong. Like this guy is, I mean, look how his mouth is not even that big compared to his body. Like he's eating good. 17 and a half. Three, three up here on the spinner baits, up two upgrades. That's uh, at least a three inch upgrade right there. Nice. I wouldn't mind another one of those. <laughs> this this spinner bait also, um, I actually the one I used earlier today, I broke it. I caught a lot of fish on it and I was bending it back down and it broke. There's a little thinner wire. I love the one blade and the size of it. I don't remember what the weight is. But it's much easier to reel in. It doesn't have near as much resistance, but it also still moves slow through the water. Oh, oh, it's a big fish. I hope it's a bass. What? Dude, it is a bass. That's a big one. That's a big one. I'm like 50 yards from where I just caught that other one. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, what a change of events. Just upgraded everything. That's nice. Oh, dude, that dude stopped it. Look at that bass. These guys are so thick, solid up here. Literally, I caught the other one right off the bank right there. This one, he was probably 20 yards from the other one. Oh, oh man, come on, fish. You're killing me here. This guy's gonna get away. Almost got away. Man, I didn't know the biggest struggle today would be getting these fish to sit still where I can get a picture. All right, I've had this fish out of the water for a couple minutes and he has not stopped jumping around. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> that guy has, was fired up. I got the picture and everything, so I'm good. Let me upload it. I'd like to upload it before I let him go, but 51.25 inches. So those last two fish made a huge difference in the standings. It's 11.30, so yeah, so I got exactly three hours left to fish. I'm gonna eat a snack. I caught those two fish right in this area. I'm really gonna work this area now. Just definitely will stay with the spinnerbait, may come back with something else. But that, that you know, three, four minute span, or whatever it was, three, four minute span right there, made a huge difference in today's um, tournament. Almost to the truck. Oh, it's hot. They get this thing loaded, pull the thing up the hill though. Pretty good end of the day. On the way to the, the check-in, I stopped, got a Mountain Dew, got refreshed a little bit. But at the check-in, we had pizza and some drinks and got a couple free lures. And I ended up in second place. I knew I wasn't gonna get first place. Uh, Joby got first place, so I came in second, 150 bucks. Not a bad way to end out a fishing trip. All right, so I just got to talking with Josh and some of the other guys, and um, so I ended up qualifying for the state tournament. Uh, I, the one I did previously was a bass state tournament. This is a different one. I get a little confused with the groups and stuff, but the group that I'm in, I qualified to go to a state tournament where it's gonna be like almost like a team competing against other uh, tournament trails or like their like leagues from around the state. Um, it's gonna be on Watts Bar, and we got so that that was the last meetup. But there's a classic tournament. I'm also gonna be able to fish that, and that's coming up um, next month. So next the, the month will be the classic. Then after that will be a state tournament. So I got a couple a couple big things coming up. Like I said, made 150 dollars from the day. They'll send me that by PayPal. Second place couldn't quite get to the first, but I was I was just trying to get top five. Got second, which is really cool. Awesome day. So I got about an hour, 15 minute drive home. And I'm a little wore down, so. One of the cool things about today's fishing trip also, it was that I was able to get second place. And it was, like I said, it was a, you could pick anywhere you wanted to go that was uh, within the right distance. And I actually went up the creek. That's my favorite creek. It's the creek I fish all the time, but uh, it's just the other end of it. So it was crazy actually getting the kayak up it. And that's where I caught my biggest fish um today and it got me up to second place so that was actually an extra cool little uh uh part of fishing there and um just kind of it was great to explore it too because i've been wanting to fish a little harder and explore it and now i got a better understanding of it maybe able to fish it in the future and uh, maybe do more fishing there <laughs> 